I just picked up a Bobcat 310 yesterday. We'll do some snow removal. There it is. It's got the auxiliary hydraulics, got a grapple on the bucket. Do a little video of how I get off the trailer and do some snow removal. This is my 1977 Bobcat 310. I think it's got just under 1500 hours. Before me it had one owner. He bought a new in 1977 he said and he used it to clear out his cattle barn. He had this grapple put on. The machine has the factory auxiliary hydraulics and then he had someone weld on a bucket extension and then uh, put this grapple together I broke it this morning moving some logs but I'll have that fixed shortly he also cut the top of it off right here he said to get clearance into his cattle barn then he welded it back on when he sold it everything works on it except the uh, second speed it's got a low speed and a high speed and you're supposed to push down this button and get uh, high gear and it doesn't work right now other than that everything else works on it got a 16 horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine here's the clutches I don't know which one is which I think one of them is not working but it works works real good in low gear right now These do not like to start when they're cold. The engine is coupled to the uh, hydraulic pump and it's got to turn all that cold oil as you're trying to crank a cold engine. So they're pretty hard to get heated and going when they're cold. I don't think it really has any leaks. Seems to run pretty good. The bucket has a couple, I think from the acidity of the cow shit and piss, of, uh, it's got some holes in the back of the bucket. Not very big. I'll see if I can get the camera attached to it and keep going with the snow removal. <laughs> 